Hi beautiful souls, I'm Soul Star aka Nini, welcome back to my channel. I have been gone for a few weeks, I just uploaded two videos, um, or it was one video, channeled messages from the Divine Masculine, so what they're going through using the Mood Card deck, they're going through a lot of confusion and weariness and regret and uh, just feeling really really lonely, um, dealing with a lot of things at the moment. Now that phone, that phone, that um, that video got slightly cut off at the end so there's a part two which is literally like three minutes long so just in case you guys are wondering why was I still talking halfway through a sentence there is a second part to that now this is I guess the third part um, as I was only going to do the actual life purposes which this came out the Divine Masculine Collective strength and body work because I had laid out about six cards from my Rage of Weight tarot deck that you guys are so used to seeing me use all the time. But after I had already filmed multiple videos and then I looked back at these cards and I didn't feel the same energy. I wasn't guided to continue reading the energy messages from those cards. So I was just literally clearing out my deck. And as I cleared out my deck, which I wish I had the camera on because you guys would have seen, these two cards just flew out straight away tower moment i'm sure we are so sick of seeing that one yeah but at the same time it's like okay massive changes and also two of one so i'm going to start with the tower card now it's no secret the divine masters have been going through tower moments multiple times over the last few weeks few months i mean us divine feminists have still been going back and forth with it Sometimes it is just us feeling our twin flame, other times it's our own tower moments, our own ego self crashing down in this matrix illusion. The Divine Masculines have really, uh, they've just reached their limit, like completely. They have been pushed into this little hole for so long from when they're first born, how they have to be in society, growing up in their family, growing up in the 3D world of work and finances and all these things that people have ingrained in them for so long. Like, you have to do this, you have to be like that. This is what makes a real masculine person, whether you're you know, a male or a female, because we both we have both energies with inside us and some divine feminines are males and some divine masculines are females like it has nothing to do with the gender but it's like from your own experiences you've been proked and prodded for so long molded into what a divine masculine or a strong powerful masculine energy needs to be and you, you're, uh, it's like so many divine masculines. This, these tower moments are so freaking horrific because they've just had it. They've had enough of the same bullshit. They've had enough of going in and out of relationships that don't work and miscommunication and hurt feelings and pride and ego and regret. They've had enough of working shitty jobs that they can't stand working in because the environment's so toxic. It's destroying their soul, but it makes them decent money when they can do well. And it's just like, they're always doing stuff for other people, naturally, just like us divine feminists, always giving to other people in different ways. And it's just been taking away from them more and more and more and more and more. And For a lot of the masculines, they're really finding it hard to almost break away their ties from certain situations, certain relationships, the family and certain co-workers that they've formed alliances with in the past. It's like, sorry, I just saw some spirits over there. Um, it's like... Their family is so important to them. The masculines, the divine masculines that have families in the 3D, their families are so important to them. 
and the way that they've been so used to and have always shown their own affection and love has been by doing everything known to man for their family members or close friends and colleagues. Always exerting their energy for everyone else and only ever leaving the tiniest bit for themselves and it's just not enough. They're sick and tired of waking up every single day and not having, it's not, it's not having not, it's not about not having everything because they are, they are really grateful for how far they have come because for a lot of the Divine Masters, some of them have been homeless before, some of them have had no jobs for months on end, some of them have gone into large amounts of debt from other karmic situations. Some of them have just had really bad childhoods, as I've mentioned many times before, a lot of the Divine Masters have inner child trauma, a lot from a lot from the dad mainly, but the mum as well, there's been many issues. Growing up in competitive families with other masculine energies within the close environment and then always going back and forth with, I'm better than you, no, I'm better than you, no, I'm gonna make your ego and pride feel like shit, no, I'm gonna do this and say this funny line so that I can get one up on you. Like, they're just sick and tired of so much. And it's really, really hitting them. Like, why am I still doing this? Why am I still putting up with this? Why, when I work so hard and deal with all these horrible situations, all these people just sucking me dry of my energy, and I managed to get, you know, a large amount of money that I want, and now I've managed to get, like, a new car after mine's been broken for three months. But why do I still feel so freaking depressed? Why do I still feel so drained why am I still so unhappy why is it always so hard for me I see everyone else passing me by they get a new job they love like that oh they get money they get happy trustworthy people in their lives they get to be in environments all the time that's enjoyable for them they get to actually have rest time. They get to actually have a holiday because I haven't had a holiday in I don't even know how long. When is it going to get easy for me? That's all I can Yeah, the Divine Masculines, they're just... Um, they've really had enough. They've had enough of so much. But their pride is still such a huge factor, their ego. They don't like feeling these types of feelings. They don't like having to deal with such low, dark vibrations consciously from their own internal state. Because they're so used to dealing with it from outsiders, from everything else they interact with. But when it comes to their own shit, the fact that they realize they have to make these changes in order to change their environment. If you don't like the environment you're in, you're in, change it. If you don't like the job you're in, change it. If you don't like the food you're eating, change it. If you don't like your dress sense, change it. If you don't like your hair, change it. Adapt, grow. But it's so much easier to say it rather than actually doing it. But it's gotten to this point now where they've still been living for every other person and that might be hard for some of you guys to understand because i know some feminines are going to be watching thinking well they haven't been doing this for me they've been doing this for the other feminine down the road or they've been doing this for their mom or their sister but they haven't been doing it for me they haven't called me they haven't messaged me and it's like think about how much you have going on in your life You can't be in that selfish headspace. And with the Divine Masculines, a lot of them thought that all these massive burdens would just suddenly disappear once they went into separation with their Divine Feminines. Little did they know that so much of the toxic crap around them and in their daily life was already there before the Feminines came in. And for a while, 
they've just been suppressing and then trying to come on the up and up in the 3D sector and then gaining some successes here but then still not sleeping and not being able to take their mind off the divine feminines and everything else that's happened and it's like because of this they're resonating more with the divine feminines they're understanding more about why most of us divine feminines had to step into our power and we had to address that we deserve better than this and communication is key and all of these things when we were standing in our power and created those tower moments to go into separation or being too uh for some of the divine feminines in the codependency of over giving affection and want and need and expectations and created those tower moments like that and then the divine masculines run away and because they're scared and they've had enough and they don't want to be hurt and they don't understand all these overwhelming feelings and it's like because the masculines are going through these tower moments they're resonating even more with how much the divine feminine has consciously been going through for such a long time i just saw 11 11 on my phone oh my gosh two plays um so it's like they're in their darkness they're in their state of vulnerability which they need to get they need to get to that state so they can clear out those blockages they can heal these wounds they can start making these changes start stepping into their life purpose start actually becoming the person they want to be so they don't wake up hating themselves hating the world always feeling exhausted and drained or being like i love you so i do this i love you so i do that i need to make money so i do that but it's all destroying me it's really getting to that point where it's like we can't keep doing stuff for other people we can't keep doing stuff because everyone else around us is doing something okay somebody wants to save money to go traveling and one person's working in i don't know in a law firm as a receptionist but they hate it it drains their soul they deal with toxic loyals all day every day the energy there is so dark and toxic they're working eight till eight every single day they only get one day off and on that one day they're so exhausted from the week they can't even get out of bed but they're doing it to save money you can do that somewhere else you can find another avenue another place that it may not look as good on your cv it may not be as uh, high paid or it may not be as prestige sounding in the 3d life because everyone's always bashing each other with their egos but you could end up finding a job working in a card maker shop where you're decorating and creating cards all day every day and it pays half uh, the amount of money that you were making at the law firm but your soul is way happier so you're way more rich in abundance because of that and i know us feminists have been going through that a lot we've been making these changes and it's like the divine masculine's your wake-up call like you can't keep doing stuff for other people you, you just can't do it anymore you physically can't do it anymore you emotionally can't do it anymore you spiritually can't do it anymore you certainly cannot energetically do it anymore stop putting up with the bullshit stop putting up with dealing with things and doing things in a certain way because that's how you think they have to be done or because you want to make sure that people who know you or people who know about you know oh yeah so and so is working there they've got this position yeah 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 they're doing good who gives a shit about other people's opinions honestly after all this stuff us twin flames have gone through why do we really give a shit about other people's opinions when they don't know our struggles they don't know what we've been through they don't know how we've got to where we've got they don't know how strong we've had to be to go through this journey they don't know what it is to self-master, to self-love, to self-care to the degrees that we do because they haven't gone through this stuff. So why on earth would you continue living your life working in a crappy job that you absolutely hate because it pays the bills or it's going to get you your house and your five-year plan which, hello, let go of the expectations, the stuff never works out the way you want it to. Do what you love to do now and if you don't know what you love to do, start trying new experiences to figure it out take those risks take those chances and it's just like I, I i can literally hear like spirit like knocking on the door like wake up wake up get yourself out of these situations look at your life look at yourself in the mirror 
What is it you want to do with your life? Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be surrounded by? Who do you want to connect with? What do you want to talk about on a daily basis? Where do you want to be on a daily basis? Because you certainly don't want to be in this job, in this environment, in this flat, in this house with your family members who are still dragging you down. Don't stay there just because you think you need to, because you think society says you have to, because you think they're gonna start hating on you and saying, oh, you're a wayward son or you're a wayward daughter. How could you leave me? How could you leave me in my time of need? Who am I gonna talk? It's your life. It's your life. I'm sorry I'm shouting, but it's like, these tower moments happen for a reason, guys, and it's like, you really have to dig deep and figure out figure out what your heart is telling you because the more and more you resist the more and more tower moments you're going to keep having and keep having and keep having and you're just going to stay stuck in this negative cycle again and again and again and again and again you don't want that oh heavy energy sorry for shouting but like spirit is just like wake up wake up and yes this is also for the divine feminines there are some divine feminines who have certainly been resisting the divine masculines one of your life purpose cards from the oracle book strength everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous i'm sorry i keep looking to the left i literally keep seeing spirits over there so i'm just like there's so much going on in this park. <laughs> the Divine Masculines, in their heart, they know they're strong enough. They know they have the strength and courage to actually make these changes to actually look at their issues that they've had, that they've wanted to ignore for so long, and why they're still playing out this same cycle, and they're realizing, even though they've gotten this far, they've also gone so far backwards in so many other ways. They want to learn these lessons. They don't want to have to keep repeating them, because they've done that for so long, and it's just, it's exhausting. It's completely and utterly exhausting. But they're having so many doubts, and so much confusion that they're doubting that they are strong enough to make these changes in the 3D, actually take that action. Because some of the actions they've taken previously haven't made them feel the best. They really want to change. They want so many changes. Their soul is crying out. Their soul is really crying out for some major changes because they just can't do what they've been doing. It's just not serving them at all, like at all. I'm gonna read you guys the um, text from the book. This goes hand in hand with the tower. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous, as I said. You are stronger than you realise. That's what I just said. Thank you, Spirit. That's literally what I just said. <laughs> you are stronger than you realise, according to this card. Your career dreams require inner resolve and courage. Yes. And you've built those qualities from your life lessons. Everything you've experienced has brought you to this moment and you're more prepared than ever to start a new project and persevere to complete it. Come on, divine masculine, step into your power. It's human nature to shy away from projects that are perceived to be difficult or bring up fears of failure. Ah, oh, so true, my heart hurts. Nonetheless, these projects are calling your name. Whether you're guided to write that book, change careers, Return to school, start your own business, which I keep hearing so much. Present your artwork to the public, which I'm hearing so much. So many of us Twin Flames are so freaking talented. We need to start showing it off. The time is now. We can't let fear hold us back anymore. Like, anymore. And yes, I am saying that to myself, Spirit. Higher self, soul star. I am saying that to myself. <sighs> you have the strength to do so. 
Which path do you think will lead to greater joy? Taking steps in the direction of your dream, even if you're unsure whether the dream is viable or whether you're taking the right steps to achieve it, or endlessly procrastinating, which me as an Aquarian, I know how to do it so well. I know how to procrastinate so well. Wow. Which path will ultimately be more painful to experience? Risking defeat or humiliation by taking action or playing it safe? Back in the old days, I would have said humiliation. But now it's like playing it safe. Why would I play it safe anymore? We have gone through so much and it's like, it's really time for us, divine masculine, divine feminists, to just be happy. Do everything in our power to make ourselves happy on a daily basis. Whether it's literally just adding on like a 15 minute nature walk to your day, whether it's going to the buy your expensive coffee at that cafe 15 minutes down the road so you have to leave a bit earlier but it just sweetens up your day, whether it's literally quitting our job, not knowing when we're going to get another job or actually starting our business because we feel like that's going to be our life purpose and when we step into our power, our power sorry, all the abundance will just like, it will just come, it will just come in so rapidly. Or whether it's literally, because I keep hearing law, like so many people are in law and government official jobs and security and finance sectors. Like I just keep hearing that from Divine Maskins. But whether it's you literally dropping out of your law firm or your security job and you decide, you know what, I want to take a one way ticket to Hawaii and learn how to surf and then start teaching it. Do whatever it, your soul is calling out to you. Stop paying attention to other people's ideas of what you should be doing. And I know that that was one of the biggest lessons for myself to learn and so many other of us twin flames to learn because we expected our divine masculines to act a certain way. They expected us divine feminines to act a certain way. In this 3D matrix, we're so conditioned and so used to always pressurizing other people without even consciously being aware of it we're always so used to projecting our own ideals on how someone should be without really 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 listening and i mean actually listening to what they want to do with their life because no matter how connected you are divinely deeply spiritually it will never be your place to tell someone what to do or how to act ever and that is one of the biggest lessons. Woo! Oh my gosh, there's a massive pee again. No! You guys are gonna just see me acting so girly. I'm normally fine with bugs. Like, I love nature, I love animals, I love bugs. But this pee is like this. I'm shook. But please, <laughs> please continue to do what your soul is calling out for you to do regardless of anyone else's opinions, but I keep hearing it strongly again and again, just like in the last videos I put on the Divine Masculine. Stop listening to these toxic family members and close work colleagues and friends that you've had for over 10 years who are telling you what to do and how to do it. You may think they have your best interest at heart, but they don't really know your heart and soul because you've had this mask around it for your whole existence. You don't even know fully what your soul and heart want yet but you have ideas and it's sad sometimes that we can't always share our ideas with other people because they just won't get it or they'll make us feel shit about it or they'll start creeping in with that fear and doubt and then we may end up listening to them and then we stay in, an, in the same country, in the same flat, in the same apartment or in the same sector for another 10 years and then wake up and we're like, why the F am I here? You don't want that. You don't want that at all. Like, I know you don't. Yes, I'm talking to you. You don't want to live for other people anymore. Stop doing it. Easier said than done. I know. Trust me. Whew. Oh, we've got Empress on the bottom of the deck. Okay, Divine Masculine. Two of Wands. Yeah. Literally what I was just saying. Oh my gosh, there's so many spirits here. This is crazy. 
literally what I was just saying. The decisions. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? I want to have everything I've ever desired. I've been working my ass off for umpteen years and I've only gotten this far. Why am I only here? I was blaming it on this situation. I was blaming it on this relationship. I was blaming it on my finances. I was blaming it on my work ethic. But is it really what I want to do? It's like, going through this tower moment, finding your strength, realizing you, you can literally just achieve and manifest everything you actually want for yourself first, even though you're so used to doing everything for everyone else, and you thought that by going into separation with the Divine Feminine it would give you some of your power back, which to a certain extent it did, but at the same time, honey, everyone else is still taking from you. Divine Masculines are gonna... really start trying out new things, really... They're going back and forth in their ego headspace, but it's like a, it's like a push and pull. Like your heart's pulling you in one direction and it's pulling you to your highest path, your highest timeline, your highest good, where you can explore with your creativity and your business ideas and actually be in a happy environment and work on yourself more each day and actually get rest because you never get to rest and you never sleep because your brain is literally like this 24 seven and you know you also want to have this amazing life and be free like you just want to be free divine masculines like you've caged yourself in for so long inside the already tight cage that society's put on you anyway and you want to have just abundance and freedom and you want to be able to do whatever you want and you want to be able to actually be yourself and you know that you want to have a happy family life. You know the world is your oyster. You know you can achieve different things. It's just taking a while for some of you to not ignore those messages when they come inside your headspace and you see these certain things or go on your phone and you'll see a video pop up uh, or an advert on a video you're watching and it will be about the exact thing that you should be doing to inspire you like business marketing, affiliate marketing or trading or becoming a personal trainer or it's like you're seeing so many synchronicities you've been so used to blocking them out for so long but now you're starting to be more receptive to them and because of that you're starting to realize that you can actually have everything you want but which path do you actually choose because you could go and stay on the same path that you're used to doing all the time doing the same routine thinking it's going to get you to point a in a more sensible logical way because the masculines always think so much logically but now it's like you could get everything you want by taking the risks but you're trying to build up the courage to take those risks We've got body work. Your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. Did I not just mention personal training? <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Even my own Divine Masculine Soul Deep was a personal trainer. I also was a personal trainer too. So that connects heavily. But a lot of the Divine Masculines, part of their creative life purpose, they have so much healing to give. They've always been those type of people where, because they give to everyone else, they're always a busybody, they're always working so hard. But people are always drawn to them. They're always wanting to talk to them and open up to them. And they're realizing that their words really are healing power. And that could be part of their life purpose. So they couldn't, they can actually become the change they want to see in the 
world. And I actually think that's really beautiful. Wow. Spirit saying, you guys have so much more to give than what you're even aware of so far. And it's like, I keep saying it's like today. I don't know why that's really annoying me. Some of them, sorry, some of you Divine Maskins are going to be sharing a lot of healing work. And my throat sack is now playing up. <clears throat> oh, Divine Maskin. Some of you are going to be sharing a lot of your healing work through your words. Like you're going to start going to business seminars and talks. And then you're going to start actually doing them. You're going to start actually doing presentations and helping other people achieve successes in business and finance in self-mastery, in, I keep hearing like martial arts, like definitely need to do with physical healing, physical therapy, martial arts, sports, sports science, the medical field as well for like athletes, for some of you, I'm really seeing that really strongly. Because you're realizing it's not just your whole demeanor, your energy field, your healing with your words, with your touch, with your actions and that's why you've always had people drawn to you for so long and before it was hard to take on all those energies but once you step into your life purpose and you're not staying in the same stagnant toxic energy spaces all the time you're going to be able to step into your life purpose more and actually have that good balance, that alchemy point where you'll reset your balance with your masculine and feminine energy and then you're able to actually provide healing work for the collective which is also healing you at the same time. I'm gonna read from just checking my bike is still behind me. The book. Okay. Okay, thank you, Spirit. I love when I get these confirmations. I'll say all the, these channeled messages and then the first thing I read and it's like, that's literally what I just said. Divine Masculine. You drew this card as encouragement to involve yourself in body work, to heal yourself and others. Receiving and giving massage and other forms of physical care is at the center of your life purpose. It appears that your healing hands, gosh, you have healing hands and have naturally been drawn to the healing art for some time. This card is validation that it's a fulfilling path for you to go down. The challenge is for you to take excellent care of your own body as you find avenues to provide care for others. You're naturally a giver, mm -hmm. and that includes sending healing energy to your clients and loved ones. Be sure to include yourself in this mix. That's one of the struggles for both twin flames, but especially divine masculines, you have to look after yourselves way more, which is another reason why this separation occurred anyway. But I remember even saying to my Divine Master and Soul Deep all the time, you need to cut yourself more, you need to do more stuff for yourself, you need to stop giving to everyone else, including me. We don't have to see each other all the time, you don't have to do everything to everyone else all the time, you need to rest, you need to heal, you need to... But obviously, you can say everything you want to a person, but until they actually take it on themselves, it's a whole different thing. I saw three, 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 three. Wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> the synchronicities are crazy. Ooh. Where was I? You're naturally a giver and that includes sending healing energy to your clients and loved ones. Be sure to include yourself in this mix and take the time for exercise, massage and receiving treatments as well. You're encouraged to take classes that mirror your natural interest in various healing modalities. Taking an eclectic approach to body work will ensure that these interests stay keen and at a high level. Aww. Love that. Divine Masculines, Divine Masculines, Divine Masculines, we love you unconditionally and we want you to love yourselves unconditionally and just please keep working on yourself, healing yourself, please keep finding a better balance for yourself each day where you're spending more time looking after yourself and one of the biggest things I keep hearing, which even 
I was used to hearing in the 3D from my own Divine Masculine Soul D is that a lot of the Divine Masculines they I don't think that's the right word for this a lot of them pride themselves on helping others which a lot of us do anyway that's an ordinary thing but the Divine Masculines They do it to a whole other level. Like, it's really been an integral part of what has made their soul happy or what they think has made their soul happy by doing every single thing known to man for colleagues and friends and family members. Even though it exhausts them all the time, even though they never get enough time for themselves, even though they're still working 60 hour weeks and then spending literally like 12 hours on the weekends doing everything for family and friends and then only having like a 40 minute nap and a three hour sleep and not ever getting any time for themselves and not ever taking themselves out to do things they want to do because they base so much of their happiness on making these people happy if they go and do errands for their nan and they see their nan hasn't had to stress um you know by walking to the shops and going up and down because she has a bad hip or like the divine masculine see a smile on their nan's face or their mum's face or their sister's face or their friend who they've known for 10 years and they're begging them for money because they just lost their job and have a baby on the way and the divine masculine get a bit stressed out but they're like yo you're my homie i've got to look after you blah 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 even though it's going to put me out of pocket and make me stressed and make me sleep even less than i already sleep They've, they've gotten so much of their happiness based on other people's reactions of their generosity and their kindness and that's been one of the biggest struggles for divine masculines and some of them are still struggling with that because they don't want to stop doing all of that stuff for people and then feel like they're ungrateful or they're ignoring someone or they're hurting that person's feelings or how can this person get through the week if I don't go and help them with A, B, C, D, E, F and G I'm the only person that does it so I have to do it and it's like it's been that way but it doesn't have to be that way anymore but for them to find I'm sorry for you divine masculines to find a good balance with that it has been challenging it is very challenging when you don't want to let people down you don't want to um, suddenly change up situations so rapidly that people are start talking about you or if you still feel insecure about people thinking bad of you and, or knowing that you want to this person to be looked after and because you're the only person who looks after them in this way you have to do it no matter how much it's exhausting you no matter how much it's taking out of your time for your own healing your own rest your own self-care your own self-worth and love and half the time when you guys do all these things for other people they don't even show a lot of appreciation because they're just so used to you doing everything for them but you'll still do it anyway because you're the masculine so you're so used to it being that way but it doesn't have to be because if it is destroying you if it is taking out time of your own self-healing some of you aren't in complete toxic environments with your family and friends some of you have a decent balance with the energies that come back and forth between you but it's still taking up so much of your time that you're still not prioritizing yourself and that you think by working hard at work is prioritizing yourself that's not that's you prioritizing your work you think that by going off and doing all these things for close people is prioritizing yourself because you're doing it for them because you're nice like that and it's like yes you can get some satisfaction from doing all these great things for other people but you're still not paying enough attention to yourself and I just keep hearing that like even though for us divine feminine sometimes it's really hard because we'll go in and out of patience, impatience 
back and forth. You masculines really need to figure out yourselves, figure out your shit, figure out time in the day for you where you're not doing stuff for other people. You're not doing stuff to get a certain reaction. You're not doing stuff because you think you're the only one who'll do it or you are the only one who'll do it. You're not doing stuff for people at work or flatmates. Where is your time where you're doing something that your soul's calling out for? And for some of you, it's so simple, like taking yourself out to dinner and having your favorite meal with a glass of beer or wine and just like chilling out in the sun for an hour. And then other ones of you, it's like, you just wanna have some you time, alone time, more than 45 minutes, more than an hour. You want to be able to have like a whole day where you can be like, you know what, I'm going to do whatever the hell I want today. Whether that's sleep the whole day, play games, go off for a walk, take myself bungee jumping by myself and video it. Like there's so many random things that the masculine's inner child are just calling out for. Because trust me, some of these masculines, they're really not having fun like a lot of them are not in a fun space at all but they're still exhausting themselves even more so please start doing stuff for yourself and my throat chakra is really playing up right now masters you really need to start and continue to speak your truth to yourself and to the people who are in your energy field on a regular basis because it's just it's just not serving you it's not serving you to stay quiet it's not serving you to constantly be stressed it's not serving you to have such an imbalance with your own self rest self care like where is the self care you working your ass off for money and other people and family and friends that's not self care and that's one of the biggest masculine traits that you have to change your concept of money and finances because so many of you masculines and feminines are in that scarcity mindset where it's like, oh, if I don't do this, this and this, then I'm not going to have enough money by three months' time or I need to work for the next three years in this bloody environment that I can't stand because it gives me a decent wage even though I literally break my back to make the wage but I have to do it because then if I ever want to take a break if I ever want to take a break then I'll have enough money to cover me for a week you need to get out of that scarcity mindset your vibe attracts your tribe like like attracts like and in order to be on the right vibrational frequency to manifest abundance and money and happiness you have to actually embody that and if you're in that scarcity mindset, then all you're gonna to continue to attract is scarcity. So even when you do get bonuses at work, you're still gonna be in that scarcity mindset. Okay, I can only spend a certain amount of this because I need to have X amount left over. Or okay, I'm gonna put this straight into savings and not touch it for another five years. And hopefully in five years, I'll have you know a house in my name.